All right, Phil. You're on deck. Am I on deck? Yes. This, this one I've wanted to do for 20 years, so it's a big one. Uh, a bit of an, a tiny bit of an history lesson. Uh, the Dark Ones conquered Mars, and Mars, the next planet they conquered, was where the meteor belt was, which was the Atlanteans' own planet. Uh, we destroyed our own planet, to, and then we stargated to Egypt. Now, a billion lives were lost on that own planet. A billion beings were lost. There was trauma. Uh, souls were they're still probably lost now. The Dragon Warriors clan has said the Echo is still there now, so hundreds of thousands of years ago. So what I'd like to do is create a portal, go to the timeline, go to the just after it's exploded, and send Violet up flame with a 5,000 warrior dragon clan uh, and Luth, so everything gets healed in that timeline. Yeah, let's that, do it. Does that sound okay? So. Oh yeah, that's great. This is going to be a difficult one. So it, we we create a portal using very high frequency, and that's it. The timeline. It's where the meteor belt is. It's hundreds of thousands of years ago. Uh, Hang on. That, yeah. Um, I'm hearing them say that we all need to do light language. So anybody who speaks light language, just yeah, bring it on. I agree with that. Oh, yeah. Start, yeah. Start there because we need to kind of like uh, eliminate the residuals from what we just did, and then it's yeah. going to bring our vibration up to what we need to do for this work. Is what they're saying. Okay. So you see this, just, this uh, light orange planet, Phil? I think this is it. Yeah, it is, it's, it's exploding. What we did, we went in the crystal cave, we put all the crystals in the cave and we blew the planet up. It gave us a, an hour, about 20,000 went to Egypt. Yeah, 20,000 went to Egypt, but the billion didn't. They, they actually died. But if we never did that, the dark ones would have had our technology and the universe yeah, would have been theirs. Hmm? I was, I was there in that cave and I remember being at the cave wall with the crystal and yeah. I didn't understand what I was doing. So that's very informative for me. I just knew I was, it was like saving the planet, whatever it was, like we were well, protecting. The, the six priestesses or priests put each color crystal in part of the cave and that created yep. the uh, explosion for the planet. All right, so uh, let's do a total. Wow. I'm just gonna chat. Okay, light language. Up. Yeah. yeah. All, all together? Yeah, it's just all. Yeah. yeah, all together. And if you're signing my <laughs> language, do that. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I am hearing you may begin. I am hearing you may begin. Listen, are are you hearing it? I am hearing you may begin. That was fun. Right. All right, Phil, you ready? Uh, high vibration makes me uh, giggle, so... It's, it's, thousands <laughs> of it's thousands of warrior dragons right. here. Their, their flame will help us. So we've got to heal. We can't reverse it, but we can heal. So just sending violet flame, love energy. All the dragons are sending it. Like a white mic. Also, over. if there's any guilt, and as the collective, on behalf of the collective, we'll forgive yeah. ourselves and the collective for any guilt. Yeah, I, I need a lot of forgiveness there. <laughs> and probably Wendy as well. Yep, <laughs> me as well. Yeah. I, I watched the water coming in. I watched the cliffs falling. I watched them falling into the collapse of the planet as we were yeah. in the cave. There's a lot of screams going on. I'll just clear it all. Once again, forgive yourself, send yourself love. I 
forgive myself for the choices that I made, knowing or unknowingly, which affected so many lives. I forgive myself. I send myself love. Oh, Pono Pono. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. When you when you said sorry, then I said it in my head as well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Reading my mind. No, no, but I, just, I think it just needed it. So. Yes. I'm not giving this golden feather to clear off the planet. Oh, we're creating like a bubble of energy around the, the souls that we're, we're, and we're like trapping them in this love energy. Hmm. Let's give each of them, each of them, their own love bubble from the larger love bubble, connecting it to their hearts, to their souls. Okay. You see them going out the source now. They're releasing that. Releasing the, the energies. <sighs> the energies. The energies. Yeah. <sighs> you are lost. <laughs> We ask you forgiveness. You also got to forgive those ETs from that timeline too. That's exactly what I was doing. That. <laughs> no. Give everyone. Can you feel the dense negativity of the trauma? Oh. I feel it in my. Reach. It was all in my head. I actually felt it in my head, like a like an incredible headache that just wouldn't leave, and then it cleared up and started coming out. And even in the arch, I can, can feel it. Well, I had the whole body shivers. <laughs> this is a billion what people, uh, beings, that died here. <laughs> We're still transmuting that energy. <sighs> Just feel it briefly and then let it go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Bringing in on honey cube lights to all of us. I think it, we need to cleanse because it's quite a trauma we, we we're taking. On. And it was part of our own soul's trauma too. Mm. I recently cleared that. Week. It took about a week last time to clear, which meant a lot of tiredness to recover from it. Can you feel the heaviness? Energy. Can you feel the heaviness on, on, on taking this? So heavy. Mm. Get um, out. For me, I think because I worked on it about a month ago, clearing a lot of that negative energy, it doesn't feel as heavy to me. I'm just feeling it move. Mm. They're trying to stop us from clearing this. Is so ridiculous. Always one. There's always one. There's always one that always tries to stop. Right. All right, Dave, let's do it. Blast what? now. Red dragon fire. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to sprinkle the uh, white sea of the goddesses of the underworld to put, create a portal channel and, and cleanse There's the a bubble. river. There's a river. That's what is it. this river? It's the uh, sea of the underworld. It's, I've created a portal. It's like a cleanser, like a blessing. 
Okay. I see them all gathering hand to hand, singing soft, beautiful music. I was hearing sing a song earlier. Maybe that's what it was referring to. Sing a song. Is there a group song we know? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the bulk of the energy. That's true. <sighs> okay, so you're going to do that. You're, oh, you're doing the... You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> Make me happy. That's a great... When Dick, can you can you can you do this in my language? <laughs> yes, I can actually. Go on, singing. Then. Anaria, <laughs> 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 Uh, it's, uh, the EMF went all over the place then. Hmm. It's been straight all the time and it just went all over the place. <laughs> and the planet, the planet itself is just so sad. Mm. <clears throat> uh, because it got destroyed. It was it, so sad. And it was so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's source now, it's just pure source light and like you, see you it. feel that it's like effervescent bubbles in your body. Mm. I think <sighs> I think that's it there, Phil. I think we did it. Mm. I thought before now it, I thought it was too big for, for us. That's why I've left that for quite a few years. Yeah, well we it was a wise choice. It's, it's because we needed to come into the knowledge of our power as each of us were growing individually. Think about how much growth each of us have had just over this last year, specifically. That's exactly what I was thinking. You're reading me, man. Yeah. <laughs> My telepathic abilities are increasing, I'm telling you. <laughs> it is a known fact. <laughs> Proof right here. <laughs> I think we've got one more quick thing to do here on the yeah. Marriott. I don't know what it is, but... Um... Okay, so we can just tune back in the source light and the source of the cosmic sun. Uh, love you. Isis is coming in. Hold on. She is coming in to boost our energies, expanding all over our heads. She's this pure gold light. It is a blessing. Thank you. Thank you, sister. I'm getting something about at the point where we separated that. I don't know if it's left, right hemisphere, uh, polarity. She's returning <laughs> gifts to us. You're right. But also it's... Balance. Such an amazing energy. Thank you for that. It's pearls. I wish you give us pearls. Uh, I guess we gotta hold on to them. It's like light pearls for this Lemurian thing. All right. So, what do we gotta do in Lemuria?
Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Oh, gross. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is this energy? Um, it's the time in Lumeria when this, this, um, the Dark Queen, if you want to call her, she was back back then, and she totally destroyed someone who had the Isis energy in the most disgusting way. Um, so it's just sent a ton of love over this, over her, or clearing her and clearing her and returning the Isis energies back to source, clearing the Dark Queen of this. She's now the White Queen, and we're going to forgive her. We're going to forgive her because she's moved on to her next assignment, and we're also going to forgive her because... Forgiveness and love. We have to clear this for all... Oh man, has she ever channeled darkness? She brought on it. Darkest of the dark onto her. So much love. Let's clear it all. Let's let and it all go. Bubbles. Out. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Oh, <sighs> Using the magenta ray. And that dark princess has been around for a long time. Well, she's not dark anymore, but. Anyway. Place the pearls into her hand. Into whose hand? To the Dark Queen's oh. hand. Oh. It's gonna bless her energy. Oh, she just ate him. Oh, she's clearing. Oh shit! Clear her. Where oh. that's back to source. Oh. Of course, it would have to be something just disgusting. All right. Sending love, sending love, 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 and the violet flame. Oh, the golden, the golden, the golden Christed energy is surrounding her. Yeah. The pearls inside her are like a broken vessel using like that gold, I don't know what that stuff is called, like Japan uses it to repair their ceramics using gold, that's what this is doing for her, the pearls. Oh my god, they're showing me her now, it's like a sweet old lady, she just looks adorable, now that she's cleaned off of the darkness. And she was giving us the finger. She was giving us his finger. She was going, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not romantic. Are you? All right. Thank you for that. Now we are actually <laughs> able to activate. <laughs> We're activating the obelisks. Hmm. And we actually needed you to do that. Thank you. Start at Stonehenge. This, this uh, the dissolves. Obelisk is is here in that guy. The this uh. It's Stonehenge. It's all around this obelisks all around Lemuria, and they're now being activated with golden light shining up through them. The start at Stonehenge. We just raise Earth's vibration. Yeah, the start at Stonehenge is. Uh, uh, it was a gathering point for our minds because we go there to work our magic, and so when we, when I said that, that gave us the opportunity to reconnect again, and then the obelisks were able to activate in Lemuria, like you were just saying. I love that beautiful synchronicity. Yeah, no, yeah. I am one of the ones that activated uh, the the first obelisk in Lemuria. And we actually needed this to happen before we could do it. I was just giving some information. There's a lot of sacred crystals hidden underneath Earth, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, I'm just giving that. I don't know why I was just giving that. It's, it's, my, it's part of my ley line. And bring I... in the blue moon. There's a blue moon. They want to bring us this blue moon energy over. Oh, you give is that what I'm looking at? Because you're one of us. <laughs> 
I've been seeing a blue, like after the gold, it was like there's a center of blue. I just, I just see some kind of light energy. I don't see, well, I don't always see images. Let's put it that way. They're coming to me more and more often, more clearly. It's challenging to clear the oceans, to clear the trees and the lands in this timeline and our timeline. It's in all timelines, realities. <gasps> Phil. Phil, I've been asked to ask you if you would like to open the doorway to where the crystals are. You have been told that because you're the ones to activate them. Okay. And that will blast all the energy. Right. That's the happening. light coming through that. There's lots okay. and lots of different crystals in there. And they've been kept there for safekeeping. I keep getting a lucky feeling on them. Can we check to make sure they need to be cleared? Right. Are they clear? I'm getting clearing of the space, but not the crystals. The crystals are pure and protected. Are you guys like in a temple right now all of a sudden? Like with big columns, pillars? Is, are you in an open air temple or inside? I think it's like inside. Uh, I'm yeah. inside underground in air, watching in Phil do his magic. Hello. Uh, hey, Wendy, do you got a drum? I do. Is you need a drum? Yeah, yeah, if you could beat a drum, this is a ceremony. Just one moment. And how curious that it's a water drum. <laughs> in sacred space, in the elements, north, south, the east, the west, thanking the grandfathers and the grandmothers, our ancestors before us, bringing in father, son, mother, sky. Can you see them lighting up? All the crystals activating, starting from the outermost circle, yeah. and then filtering in right to the middle. Wow, that's fast. <sighs> wow. <sighs> wow. Keep drumming, Wendy. It's like it's like soul beings inside this piece, the energy of these. Um, I'm getting an image of a boat, like a, uh, not quite like a narrow, like a Hawaiian boat with those side runners, but a narrow boat, long. I don't know what that represents. What does that represent? Hmm. Those that died at sea. Well, that's an easy answer.
Um, just in case this might benefit you guys here they've just been bringing me through this crazy stuff of, of forgiving these rituals of the Mayans and these timelines um, and they're actually showing me that they would offer their children uh, and some, these ETs would actually take them up um, who they were working with and this is how it began almost like the offerings of the young ones but they did eventually turn it into a darker w way of doing it where they actually offered it to, and they killed them like but that was the, the beginning part that was they offered it because these ETs were taken so it was, it was important to forgive the ETs and then forgive obviously all these mans and then they just started bringing me into all these timelines of cannibals and this brutality of eating people and just releasing that and cleansing that in all dimensions and realities forgiving yeah. self and forgiving the collective and forgiving all and just going to all these dimensions yeah. clearing yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the holy council is here <laughs> they're, they're bringing um special energy over us right now it's, and it is rainbow um but it, it's an elder it's um, an indigenous elder like a shaman he's waving his feather and this feather has got this green, blue, orange, red, white, you, cosmic, white cosmic light, is it an interesting one? It's got little bubbles, little golden bubbles in it, and then it's just putting all these frequencies above, cleansing all the energies all over us. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> We give blessings to the Most High, to the one God, the one creator of all. It is with our 
gathered hearts that our energies may now come to you in this manner asking your forgiveness bringing you our love another round of cleansing our energies here because we had we had to release a lot for the whole universe here so just using the sacred golden flowers just over everybody they're like sticky flowers picking up any density over all of our auric fields over all of our chakras energy systems any little particles that you can't even see so putting them all and collecting them all from all these clearings and then we're gonna give them to divine mother in a second here. Uh, that feels so much better. Here you go. And then just uh, again breathe in some golden light above your crown. Exhale it out. Really cleansing. Bringing the frequency, the tablet of God over us as well for extra cleansing over our houses. Our energies. Okay. Okay. I'm just using the yoga methods as well. Yeah, we, we've been going, they take us through this timeline in the Druids, and then this timeline in Atlant, two timelines in Atlantis, one where the planet was destroyed to clear that, and this time in Lemuria, we've been, we cleared a lot. I think we're almost wrapped up here. Um, we're at this part now where we're, where we're they're just, we're just cleansing all of our energies and cleansing it off because we had to basically clear and clear and clear and clear and clear. Dave, I've got some information about the uh, crystals that we opened up and started. They were, they were planted for this time. Uh, the, the energies are, it's like a grid. It's like a humanity grid. And they were alive. So it, it's just to take the fear out of out of what's happening at this precise moment very very strange that is cool uh but they, they had a live source beings in there and the, the shield we opened the shield and that started the thing so it's like a new grid i can't believe what all happened here i just can't believe it four, four different events <laughs> oh that was insane <laughs> 